Hi fellows! It's been such a long time since the last video. Perhaps you did not notice, but there were two updates for Iliad on Unreal Engine Marketplace. Iliad 07 for Unreal Engine 4.27 was released in October, and Iliad 0.8 is available for a few days already. We are very sorry for not announcing the previous update earlier, but the end of 2021 was a bit… Uh, hectic. Ok, let's list all the new features and bug fixes brought by the latest updates. First of all, Iliad is finally compatible with Unreal Engine 4.27, and one of the most important changes comes from the Viewport Drawing Editor. You know, this mode to enable in Unreal Engine Viewport when editing static meshes with Iliad. In version 06, Iliad was limited to this view and you could not change the order or the place of the different panels, which was not very ergonomic. Now, when you will start Iliad for the very first time, you will get this view. This panel on the left is used to select the right actor, mesh, material and texture. At the top, you will see a bar with various panels. Click on the feature of your choice to get the corresponding panel, which can be placed anywhere. In addition, a 2D viewport panel can be activated if you need to draw with accuracy. When using this panel to draw, you can use Iliad Texture Editor shortcuts, such as R to rotate, P to pan, I to pick up a color, etc. Mentioning these three shortcuts, if you've been using Iliad for quite a long time, you know it was not possible to change pan, rotate and color picker. Fortunately, this is now the case. These three features are now located at the same place as the other shortcuts, which means you can change them. In addition, some little improvements have been added, such as the zoom in and out that focuses on the cursor position, sliders that are now more precise when increasing or decreasing their value. If you double-click on a Texture 2D or a flipbook in the content browser, Iliad will open instead of Unreal Engine default viewers. An eraser icon can be found in the top bar panel. Use the shortcut E to toggle it on and off. Iliad can now import PSD files as Texture2D and it keeps the layer structure of the image. You can also import any Texture2D within another Texture2D. It is also possible to export a Texture2D as a PNG, JPEG, Bitmap and TGA. And if you need to export a batch of Texture2D from a folder, this is also possible. The behavior of the paint bucket has been changed too. Now it is alpha and opacity sensitive. It means that if you lock the alpha channel in a layer or if you change the opacity value in the top bar, this will affect the paint bucket application. Ok, we're still very far from an actual paint bucket or even a tool like LazyBrush, but hey, it's still an improvement. A few annoying bugs have been fixed. For instance, sRGB mode is no longer disabled after editing a texture to the from the viewport drawing editor. In Iliad 0.6, when you would edit twice the same texture to the through the viewport drawing editor, at the second attempt, the texture would not contain any layer and sometimes it would even crash. This has been fixed in Iliad 0.7. Now, when adding new keyframes in the Flipbook editor, the panel remembers your previous settings, as long as you do not close the Flipbook editor window. Zooming in in the Flipbook editor while playing the animation would crash and relenging. This is not longer the case. If, like me, you are a Mac user with several displays, you have probably experienced annoying and unpredictable crashes on Slate. After a couple of months of conversations, tests and crash reports on the Unreal Developer Network, the origin of the problem has been finally identified and a developer named Richard Willis sent us a fix for Iliad until it gets fixed on Unreal Engine. We would really like to thank Richard for his implication and determination to understand the issue and how to fix it. Our graphic library, Ulyss, has also been updated and implemented in Iliad 0.8. This makes Iliad even more powerful and stable. And finally, our team fixed issues related to Texture2D refreshing, which could cause ghost images and glitches when working in the viewport drawing editor. That's all for the list! More information can be found on the online guide, which is available from our website, the marketplace and directly from Iliad. If you need any help or advice, we invite you to join our Discord server. 
And if you have any art to share, don't be shy. We are eager to see how Iliad is used and if it improved your workflow. So come on, come on, links are in the description. If you want to support Praxinus, I must tell you we decided to stop making brush packs on Patreon. The effort and the pressure to release a new pack every month was not really worth it. The Patreon still exists, you can still support us if you want, but there is no perk except our eternal gratitude. From now, brush packs shall be sold on Unreal Engine Marketplace. There is already a big pack available there, but we will also release smaller thin packs like natural brushes, normal brushes or manga brushes for a few bucks. If you are also curious about our other plugin epos, you can find a presentation in French that took place during the animation meetings Radiraf in the beautiful city of Angoulême. And if you can speak Japanese, we will do a short presentation during a long webinar hosted by Epic Games Japan on February 19th, whose the theme is how to use Unreal Engine to make mangas and animes. Thank you all for watching this video. If you appreciated it, do not forget to like, share and comment to please the YouTube algorithm. I wish you all a pleasant day and see you soon. Bye!